help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description. Brothers and sisters, patience is an act of worship which many people have forgotten. It's called as sabr patience. Taken from the fruit tree, sabr. Have you seen the prickly pear? It's a nasty tree and it's got so many prickles on it. And to, to, to be able to get, if you're able to get through all the prickles and the sharp and thorns, guess what you get out of it? A sweet, tasty fruit that looks amazing of different colors. But you have to get through the thorns. You've got to be patient and careful and persevere and then you'll get to the sweetness. Imagine the life like that prickly pear. You need to get through the thorns and eventually you'll get to the sweetness insha'Allah ta'ala. And I finish by saying, patience brothers and sisters has three types. Not only one, three. The highest one. The first type of patience that we need to persevere with is worship and fulfilling the commands of Allah. That is the first perseverance and patience. Because that requires patience. Musa alayhi salam had to be patient. We have to be patient with our salah, with our fasting, with our sadaqah, with our values, with our morals, with our emotions, with our anger, with our uh, mouth, with our hands, with our treatment of others, with our money. We all have to be patient with it. That is the highest rank, to be patient and persevere in the commands of Allah. As Allah says, وَعْبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ Worship your Lord until death comes to you. Uh, uh, command your parent, your family and teach them salat and be patient with worship the second level of patience is the opposite to persevere and be patient and work hard and wrestle against doing sins especially major sins not the minor sins if they just come by that's okay so long as you do good deeds it'll wipe it away but so long as you don't insist on continuing with sins and think that they're all easy and whatever so strive against sins as much as you can fight with them and wrestle sins in your actions sins in your words sins in your eyes sins in your ears sins in your uh, earning and spending sins in all that stuff your relationships Strive all to best. And the way to strive is also if you fall, you repent. Ya Rabbi, I'm going to repent, I'm going to try again. Repent, try again. But never ever give up. The meaning of patience against sins and command, meaning you don't give up. You don't say, man, I've missed so many prayers. I've done so many haram. I used to do drugs. I've done this, man. I've done a really bad reputation. I've got bad relationships. I've lost my family. I've lost this. And now I am a loser, man. I'm going to hellfire. Forget it. That is the shaitan telling you, don't come back to Allah. And Allah calls you again and again in the Quran. Say, O oh, you who have uh, burdened themselves and over bashed themselves, thinking you have no more return because of your sins and your bad deeds, do not give up from the mercy and forgiveness of Allah. Allah forgives all sins. So that's the second type of patience. And the last one, we end it with this. The last one everybody knows. And that's what most people go through. And that is when tragedies calamities come your way any kind of tragedy any kind of calamity whatever it may be what do you do with this patience you hold yourself together it doesn't mean you're not going to go through pain it doesn't mean that it's it's not going to be easy no hold yourself together until you get past it what does it mean to hold yourself together it means don't resort to immoral acts or, or give up on Allah. Hold yourself together. Hold in there even if you do not understand it. Even if you cannot find closure. Even if you cannot find a solution. Even, even. Hold in there. Do what you can. Ask Allah. Make dua. Keep going. Seek help. Get medical help if you need medical help. Use the, all the resources that you have. And don't give up and say, I am in ruins. I'm gone. Keep going. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, my brothers and sisters. It's now time for Aisha. And inshaAllah ta'ala, next week we'll continue. I hope inshaAllah tonight we've learned something beneficial. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, reward you. And lastly, we'll make a dua. Allahumma ansur ikhwanana fi Gaza wa fi Palestine. Oh Allah, 
give victory to our brothers in Philistine and change their state from fear to security, from hardship to ease. Oh Allah, protect them. Oh Allah, bless them. Oh Allah, relieve them from their hardship. Oh Allah, open the road to goodness for all of them. Oh Allah, return their rights to them and their property to them and their lands to them. Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, return the Muslims to your deen. Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, forgive us for our shortcomings and accept our dua. My beloved brothers and sisters, Patience is an act of worship. Learn to have patience in your life and you'll see that you can achieve greatness, you can achieve wisdom and you will become a better human being. Patience is of three types. Number one, it is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to fulfill the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number two is to persevere and to have patience against doing sins to control yourself and not to fall into the trap of shaitan and not to do sins and number three is to have patience during tragedy and calamities stick to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't leave Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stick to your deen hold tight to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have patience and come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah says in the Quran seek help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with patience and prayer when you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when you have patience Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfills your prayer Allah accepts your prayer Allah fulfills your dreams Allah accepts your dua and Allah makes you successful learn to have patience in your life it will make you an amazing human being it will make you stronger and it will make you a person with strength my beloved brothers and sisters learn to have patience learn the art of patience and it will help you in long run rabbana ighfir lana dhunubana wa israfana fi amrina wa thabbit aqdamana wa ansurna ala alqawm alkafirin ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا 
fi amrina wa thabbit aqdamana wa ansurna 'ala al-qawmil kafirin Rabbana ghafir lana dhunubana wa israfana fi amrina wa thabbit aqdamana wa ansurna 'ala al-qawmil kafirin ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org link in the description